Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and in today's video I want to give you it's be a quick video today I want to give you some good Vegas updates and yeah I've done a Vegas video in a while so let's go ahead and get started on what could be a very interesting Vegas video. So this past week we got some two news on uh, news on two Vegas hotels. We're gonna start with the Dream and then go to the Hard Rock. So the Dream Hotel in Las Vegas is gonna have 450 rooms. It's gonna look like this beautiful thing on uh, the concept art here. Very nice concept art with a very tall tower, about 20 stories. It is gonna be the tallest Dream in the country. There's currently a Dream Hollywood and I believe either a Dream Miami that's open or under construction or in the planning stages but they did they have a dream hollywood wanted one in vegas and have plans for a miami one if it's not open already a dream vegas is going to be the tallest and biggest one and it's actually already under construction ready to open in 2024 that's what was originally planned but some problems arose and they ran out of construction financing so they temporarily paused construction on this hotel the operators of dream insist there'll be a very short delay as they're gonna do uh permitting and other non-construction activities they can still proceed with that but they're gonna wait for more construction financing they they say they are near a deal to close on some more construction financing so they hope to restart construction on the near future if they can do that this hotel can still open in 2024 but I'm foreseeing a 2025 or even 2026 opening now because of the temporary delay that we don't know how long it's going to last. Vegas has had some other projects start and stop construction. Uh, most famously, the Fountain Blue Hotel, which is also from Miami. That one originated in South Beach, Miami. That one started in 2008, stalled in 2009 for over a decade that's right over 10 years and it just restarted construction a few years ago to reopen as um it was going to reopen as the drew but then now back to the fountain blue opening actually later this year in the fall i'll be doing a uh, hotel tour of that one it opens i believe in september is the planned opening date for that hotel and it's very open the tallest hotel on the, the strip at 69 stories and it'll be quite nice and if you see it right now it has the big um fb logo fountain blue logo on the side also the sky view observation wheel which is going to be like the, which was going to be similar to the high roller observation wheel which is in center ship by the link that one has started construction by the uh, mandalay bay and then lost financing and stopped all you see is the two concrete giant pillars which i didn't never knew what those were for until i was doing research for this video i was like what was happening there and now i know it's supposed to be for an observation wheel I'm glad that didn't go through, even though it would have been a little taller than the high roller because does Vegas, does the strip really need two observation wheels? I don't think so. I think a better use of space, specifically in a nice new resort hotel to kind of compete with the Mandalay Bay and take out that McDonald's shopping center would do well over there. So I'm glad that stopped. And again, just two pylons are there, so it can get easily be demolished for something much better. Hopefully the Dream Hotel, though, does not continue in that direction. Hopefully they do find financing and continue financing and actually build the thing and finish it by 2025. Moving along to the, something that's actually actively under construction right now. The Hard Rock, Hard Rock International has bought, uh, bought the Mirage from the MGM, now VC, um, there's a, there's a whole separate video on all the land of the land deals in Vegas, but the Mirage is no longer an MGM Mirage property. It now belongs to Hard Rock, the, the Simoli Group, which owns the Hard Rock brand, owns the uh, at least the hotels in uh, Florida and here in Hollywood. Uh, sorry, it's Hollywood, Florida, and here in Las Vegas. Brand the Hard Rock uh, Mirage, the Hard Rock Hotel. Gonna do gonna renovate all the rooms and the lobby and do a refresh of the existing hotel but then also add a 660 foot tall guitar shaped hotel which you see pictured here and is again similar to the one or exactly almost exactly the same as the one they have in florida that same new guitar shaped hotel which is also actually a casino it's a hotel casino in hollywood florida um and you'll be able to obviously use your rewards card players card at both of them but yeah, this one will be 660 feet tall, but a little bit taller than the one in Florida. This will be 600 new rooms. So this guitar-shaped hotel will have 600 new rooms 
in addition to the Mirage's existing rooms, to create a mega hotel. With the construction of this hotel, the some of the great aspects of the Mirage are gone. I mean, the volcano that gives you a nice free show outside on the ship will be demolished soon if it hasn't already. I think the last day of operation actually already passed, but that's unfortunate. And also, the Siegfried and Rory kind of zoo botanical garden area with exotic animals like the white tiger um that closed a few months ago as well which sucked i really liked going over there so some of the things that made mirage in the vegas ship very special have gone away unfortunately hopefully hard rock has some awesome new amenities besides that nice themed hot themed hotel tower to kind of bring some of those elements back because you know the vegas strip what makes it unique is each hotel some is very themed for the most part themed very heavily and has unique elements you know caesar's palace has the statue show you know the venetian you can ride the gondolas luxor is a literal pyramid it used to have a, a flume ride but that got uh, demolished but every each hotel is something really cool and exotic um and i hope vegas continues with that because they started to you know started to back away from that with like city center and the fountain blue so i hope they kind of get back to that with these themed hotel towers and nice new amenities for families and uh, visitors alike because gambling is very popular but of course you know, if you want to draw more people in and have them spend more money you want to build you want to have things for the kids or people who don't want to gamble to do as well so yeah that was my quick vegas update and don't forget other vegas stuff that's happening right now the sphere MS msg sphere at the venetian opens in september and Universal's Halloween Horror Nights um, is anchoring the Area 15 expansion, which opens in a couple of years. That's going to start work this uh, in the summer and maybe open by 2024. So that'll be awesome. So stay tuned for updates to that because I'll certainly be there when that opens. If you like this video, press that thumbs up, subscribe for more theme park updates. And if you like Vegas updates, let me know. I'll try to crack some more in there for you. If not, I'll be at Universal on Saturday for the Dark Arts show, so stay tuned for that. That video will be up on Saturday after the first showing. And more Universal updates will be up this weekend. Have a great day.